Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Marble, and uh, I'm here to do a presentation about my experience on the road shadowing and mentoring scheme. Uh, I'm going to start by telling you uh, my journey so far. I'll tell you how my life was before I started and uh, how the experience has been for me so far and what my thoughts and my beliefs are now for the future. Right, first of all, I came here as a migrant just over three years ago. Um, and um, before I left my country, I'm Nigerian by the way, before I left my country, I came here thinking, I have a big life ahead of me, great opportunities in the UK, I'm gonna work as a biochemist, make loads of money, and just enjoy <laughs> life, you know? And then I came here, and the reality that I faced was almost like a nightmare, mm. you know? My hopes just went out the window, I lost my courage, I lost my confidence, and I started thinking, there's nothing I can do, and I was helpless. I got a job, I worked as a customer service advisor for about a year and a half, and uh, had a baby, <laughs> and then, at the point in my life when I thought that I was at my lowest, I met, um, I've had a friend for quite some time, but then she told me about the course run by Women Making a Difference, that's the Engendering Change. I went on the course, and believe me, my life has taken a dramatic change since then. Now, going from the first part of the course, which is Engendering Change, it was lovely, I met wonderful women, after the course, I thought I had finally come back to the person I was before I came here. I was courageous, I was strong, and I realized there's nothing I can't do in this place. But most importantly, I find, what I found was that I was able to feel a sense of belonging, which was something I didn't feel at first. And I was quite, it was quite scary because I started thinking I might have to go back home. But I, I, I then noticed that I actually want to stay here. I don't want to go back. But if I don't feel like I belonged here, then like it was like a big dilemma for me. But then after engendering change, I felt loved. I felt accepted. I felt like I belonged here and I could build a life for myself and my family here. So that was great. And as a result, I signed up for the second part of the course, which is Women into Public Life. And that has been a wonderful journey. I started the course, and through the course, I have done many other trainings. I have met a lot more influential people and good people, people I've made friends with that I think will last me a lifetime. And uh, part of the course also introduced me to the Step Up Comedy Scheme by the Welsh Assembly Government. And that involved role shadowing someone in public office. And I'm currently role shadowing um, Geraldine Grant, who's the councillor for Trowbridge and uh, Old St. Mellons. That has been a wonderful experience for me as well. I have um, gone to certain meetings, scrutiny meetings with her, and I've learned a lot. I've learned what it means being a counselor, what you do to represent your people, the meetings you attend, the board of um, committees that you are a member of, school governors, and so on and so forth. And I actually realized that being a counselor doesn't have a specifically defined job description, because there's a lot you do, and it actually just comes as the need arises, I think. And I thought that was wonderful. And then I realized that there could be obstacles that you could face being a counselor. And one, I, I found they, they've come in three main areas that I saw. And the first could be the people you work with, who I experienced when I went to uh, the office one day to meet with the counselor and uh, some of her colleagues there made some comments about her in front of me and I thought, you know, that wasn't very nice. And they are supposed to work with her and support her. So I thought, yeah, well, that's one thing I should look out for. I could get obstacles from people I work with. And then the constituency that she represents was a Labour constituency, and she's Liberal Democrats. So she is now, I think, the first that's not Labour for a long time to represent that place. 
they're not too happy about that. So she goes for surgeries and you find people hardly show up. They don't show up at all most of the time. And that could be difficult, you know? And then I also realized that there could be obstacles coming from myself if I were a counselor. I don't know what hers were, but I knew that I would have definitely personal inhibitions and especially coming from a different uh, ethnic minority group, different background, a lot of cultural differences, you know? And I thought, well, there's a lot that I would be facing if I decide to be a counselor. But I think that coming so far on the journey, I've realized that I can be a counselor. I thought it was something way up there, but through my journey so far, I've realized that it's right in front of me and I can take it, and there's nothing that I cannot do if I set my mind to. But then I'm wondering now, what are my thoughts for the future? I may not want <coughs> to represent people by being a member of an elected office, like a councillor or an MP or an AM, I may not want that, because I feel it restricts me to certain things that I can't do. Maybe if I wanted to fight a cause for women and I wanted to organize a demonstration, I can't do that if I was a counselor, you know? But if I was free supporting and working on my own, then I can do that. And I'm thinking, I'll probably not go for an elected office. But one thing I do know for certain is the fact that in gendering change, women into public life, the experience with the role shadowing, the people I have met so far, I am able to do it. And I will definitely contribute positively to my community, to the people around me, to the society, and to the whole nation as a whole. Everything that I know I can do, and I know I can do a lot. And then I ask myself, from three years ago when I first came here, with all my hopes dashed, and looking at myself now, all of these things that I have done and achieved, and the experiences I have, I think has, has happened so far within eight months. And then I imagine how much more I can gain and give back if I continue to pursue this. And then I ask myself, coming two years from now, if there was an election, can I be a counselor? Three years ago, I would have said, oh no. But now, definitely yes. <laughs> <laughs>